Hello everyone, Dustin here, Average Guy Hi-Fi again. I've got another um, set of speakers that I ended up picking up. Um, I guess it's been about a week ago uh, at this point in time. So this set kind of is a, a kind of a mixed match set. It came with a Polk subwoofer that I just um, got done reviewing, came with a Denon receiver. But the main reason I bought this set was the um, energy speakers that it came with. So um, it came with only three, three speakers, but I'll be reviewing them in the other room over there as soon as I uh, get done with this portion of the video. But uh, what the package included was this right here, which is the Energy CC10 Connoisseur um, center channel speaker. Uh, this is kind of their mid-grade. I would compare this to like the Klipsch reference line. Um, these are five and a quarter inch woofers, kind of the same thing as the RB51s, the RC52, um, those speakers. Very similar in size as well, too. So anyway, this right here is the Energy uh, CC10. It comes with uh, two five and a quarter inch um, ribbed woofers. I know it sounds funny, but it has actually little ribs in the uh, surround. And what Energy says is that actually helps with the excursion of the woofers um, during demanding scenes. Uh, they also have a one inch aluminum dome tweeter. Um, the cabinets, I'll kind of show you a close up here of the bookshelf because it's a little bit lighter. The cabinets are rear ported. So keep that in mind for you guys putting these things in um, into uh, like theater cabinets, things like that. But I'll give you guys a close up here so you can kind of see but it has a really nice kind of gloss finish here. This right here is the CB10 bookshelf speaker. And right there, you can kind of see the, the ribs and the, the rubber surround there. Um, nice looking cabinets. Again, they're rear ported there, um, has the binding posts. So uh, this set of speakers is ones that I've never tested either. Um, I've had a bunch of energy speakers over the years, but I've never had the Connoisseur line. So I'm going to um, get these things in there, put into place. I'll get them all tuned to my den and receiver. I'm going to run them with no subwoofer um, just so you guys can see the excursion and also hear how they sound. I do have a review coming up as well, too, of a Velodyne Mini-V subwoofer that I grabbed a couple days ago. So I've been very busy. So got to keep these reviews going. So stay tuned. I'm going to hop over there in the other room and I'll show you these speakers in action. All right, everyone just got done setting them all up, putting them in place. Um, and then we put on Interstellar here. I just put it on a scene. This is going to be the rocket ship when he's blasting off, um, leaving his family behind. This movie's very good uh, for testing your home theater gear. Again, these are the type of movies I'm going to be showing you on my channel uh, most of the time, just so you can see the excursion, hear the sounds. I know you're hearing them through computer speakers and all that, but it's really just about giving you guys my impressions of these things and then giving you the highlights and kind of the average guy hi-fi score there at the end of the video. So. Again, we've got it on a scene here that's got some good bass, um, some good sounds here. So I will play the movie and then we'll just kind of um, go into it and then I'll kind of give you another overview of the speakers here. All right, guys, I know that uh, a lot of the audio really doesn't come through depending on what you're listening to and all that, but just wanted to show you kind of them in action. But again, a little bit of an overview for the speakers here. Um, these are the Klipsch Energy uh, CB10 bookshelf speakers. They come with a five and a quarter inch um, ribbed rubber surround there. Comes with the uh, one inch aluminum dome tweeter. They, as you can see, there's a little bit of a contrast. I really like this look when it comes to speakers, but the whole front panel is a gloss black with a little bit of the energy logo there. And then the rest of the cabinet, it's kind of that wood grain uh, material. 
So uh, like I mentioned previously, these are rear ported speakers. So take that into consideration. If you're putting um, the center channel or the bookshelf speakers in cabinets, these might not be the best options, but I can assure you the bass response was very good um, out of these speakers, just kind of the way they're sitting here with a little bit of room to breathe. So um, the equipment I was using there again is my um, LG o OLED C9 65 inch TV. I was using uh, my Denon 3300 AVR, um, running it through an LG 4K Blu-ray player, a Panamax um, M5100 PM surge protector, and then all powering these three speakers this is my five channel um, Rantz amplifier. And this is the MM7055 five channel amplifier. So um, again, that's the little video portion where I kind of show you them in action. That is the um, Velodyne Mini V that I'm gonna be reviewing here shortly. I already reviewed the SVS subwoofer, the SB1000 that somebody's already bought and taken it home, loves it, already texted me about it. That is the Polk subwoofer that I just got done reviewing. Somebody's actually on their way right now to come pick that up for me. So I'll put that money back into um, other speakers so I can review them for you guys. So stay tuned here. We're gonna hop over to the other room where we um, give you guys the average guy hi-fi score um, on these three energy speakers here. All right, everyone, now we're on to the average guy hi-fi score section of this video. And again, the breakdown is there's five categories. Each category is worth 10 points. The five categories are sound, um, MSRP pricing, the quality of the speaker, the price I paid pricing, and then obviously the aesthetics as well, too. Then we average all those out, and then I'll give you guys a percentage, which is the average guy hi-fi score of the speaker. So again, these speakers are the Energy Connoisseur. Uh, this right here is the CB10. These are the bookshelf speakers. Uh, the center channel is the CC10 um, center channel speaker that we were using in there. So um, we'll just kick it right off. Let's start with um, the quality of the speakers. I gave them an eight out of 10. That's very high when it comes to the average guy hi-fi score. Um, the cabinets are very solid. Um, you can tell that they put some real time and effort into kind of manufacturing these things. Sharp corners that feel really good the way that they um, they adhered the uh, material, the wood grain material to the outside. I like the fact that the cabinets have metal posts attached to them instead of plastic pegs going in for the grills because those little plastic pegs always break. So I think this is a much better way of doing it. I still prefer magnets, but that's just another, that's just a whole nother category there. I've already mentioned it too many times. So quality, I gave them an eight out of 10, very high score there. Um, now we go down to the sound. These things sounded really good in my room. The bass response was very, very good. Um, it's they would you know in a big room they're definitely going to need a subwoofer still but the the they were clear they had good bass response but really my favorite thing about them was the sound stage uh, these sounded much larger than they really were i'm used to larger speakers as you guys saw in there with those definitive mythos um st towers that i have flanking these so very big sound stage for kind of a small package uh would benefit from a nice subwoofer uh from them as well but some people like subwoofers. I think they're necessary for movies and video games, but some people out there just, they don't agree with me. But that's, you know, this is all, this is all just people's opinions, basically. So um, the sound, I gave them an eight out of 10, another high score there for these speakers. The MSRP rating, I gave them a 7.5 out of 10. Still a very good score. Um, again, at the time, being able to walk into a store, this set would have cost you roughly $500. Um, the center channel had an MSRP of 199. Um, the bookshelf speakers had a MSRP of 269 I believe, for the pair. So um, basically right around $500 out the door for uh, these three speakers. It's a very good deal. So 7.5, another good score there when it comes to the MSRP rating. Um, the aesthetics, I gave them a 9. I love the looks of these speakers. These are kind of getting up there. The only real complaint that I would have, I would say, from a look standpoint, would be that... I kind of wish that these kind of followed more with the um, Klipsch RB51s, which would be probably the competition of these speakers at the time. But I like the fact that the, the Klipsch speakers, a lot of the reference line had front ports. And what that did was, this one's a little bit squatty for my look. I like a little bit of a taller bookshelf speaker. Um, and then a front port, uh, you know, you have to leave room for a front port as well, too, if you if you uh, front port it. So it just basically just makes the speaker a little bit taller, um, but less squatty looking. But again, this is still very high score. I'm kind of nitpicking. I love the gloss plastic fronts on them. I love the colors of the woofers. I like the contrast between the gloss and the wood grain. So I give them a 9 out of 10 when it comes to the aesthetics. Very high score there. Uh, my price paid value, this is where they lacked a little bit. I gave them a 6.5 out of 10. 
Um, and it's just, again, because I've owned hundreds of speakers that I've got some amazing deals on. So this came with a um, denim receiver, the Polk subwoofer, and then these three energy speakers. So these were the reason I bought that package because I wanted to test these out. So I'm probably about $100, $100 into the three of these speakers. So probably not the greatest deal ever, but I'm sure I can get my money back out of them if I'm patient once I list them on OfferUp, Craigslist, and Facebook Marketplace. But that's kind of, again, a lot of the purpose of this channel is to buy gear at good pricing, try to pass it on at good pricing so I can review it and everything in the meantime, uh, and then just keep it going. I've got a few other speaker sets out there that I need to review and a Velodyne Mini V that I'll be putting up per probably the next day or two. So... Uh, so what's that average out to? Price, so again, so it's quality of 8. I gave a sound an 8. I gave the MSRP rating a 7.5. I gave the um, the aesthetics a 9. And I gave the price paid a 6.5. That average is out to an average hi-fi, average guy hi-fi score of 78%. So a very high score. A lot of you are like, well, you know, in the grade area, that's going to be a C but or a C plus, however you look at it. But Again, I'm trying to use more of the scale here because there's a lot of speakers out there that I want to review. So I just want to use um, those five categories and give you guys a real good idea. I'm not just going to inflate numbers just to you know make people happy. This is 78%. Um, these are a very solid buy. If you see them on the used marketplace, know that you can get some very good sound out of these. Um, I was running it with a pretty nice amplifier out there, so that also helped. But um, basically, these things sound very good. Definitely keep an eye on the energy speakers. Again, point of this channel is used audio equipment. I would like to get into the new stuff eventually, but what I'm doing is I'm buying stuff with my money, so there's no kind of bias there. I'm buying it, I'm testing it out in my room, and I'm giving you guys my impressions. That way, if you own um, energy connoisseur speakers out there and you've never seen a review on them, hopefully you run across this and then you subscribe because I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to... I got a set of monitor audio speakers I'm out there. I'm going to be reviewing. I got that Velodyne sub. I got an REL sub. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I got planned for the channel. So uh, please subscribe to the channel if this is the stuff you're into because I would love to have you along for the journey. And please feel free to give me pointers. If you don't like me sitting in this room, if you think I should be doing something different, if you want the demo portion of the videos to be longer, just let me know. I take criticism very well. I appreciate you guys, uh, appreciate you guys sticking around this long. And again, my name is Dustin and I'm with Average Guy Hi-Fi.